or Danielle, and Lisa, don't know talking, talking about, about anybody. Cause, uh, I, I won't. I promise. <laughs> it would be bad to do that. Okay, we're live. We should. They should find us. Hopefully, I think there. I think it. Um, I place Karen know. says. Let me see. They were looking for it. I tried to tell them, but the chat closed, so I can't tell them on that one. So they'll have to look for it. Yeah, the chat closed. Chat closed. Hello, Davida. How cute was Everly? Was she adorable? Oh please! Oh, oh my! God. God. Did, did you die? Yeah, Jeremy cried. Oh. No, he didn't. Could you blame him? No, he didn't. Oh, he, he, no, did. he did. Did he really? No, he did. Oh, how oh, cute, Jeremy. No, he cried. I go, really? Jeremy. I go. Oh. I go are you Leave crying? me alone, goes, Bob. Leave me alone. It's just allergies. Yeah, he goes. Yeah. And then when she got done, she ran over to him. I mean, I oh. mean, closed it and just oh. ran into his arms. Each other. Leave and me you alone. start crying again. <laughs> Leave me alone, Bob. Okay. Yeah. Just allergies. Oh, I'm not crying. <laughs> yeah, I'm not crying. Yeah, you are. He's, he's the one that cries in commercials. So. Oh, right. That's what you say. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Every time he always starts crying. Are you crying, Jeremy? No, I'm not. Oh, and thanks a lot, to, uh, Davida. I fell down that mouse hole. I googled him. Oh, in the mice oh in no. Area. Oh, why? why would you do that? Yuck. Yuck. You can't even imagine. Isn't that the it truth, Danielle? Crazy. You cannot even imagine. But why do that to yourself? I don't I, know. I know. I was like, thanks a lot to be there. Sorry, everyone. We're back, though. <laughs> girls. Yeah. Everybody got together. <laughs> But we, oh, we have a special guest in the top is neck brace, Karen. Hi, everyone. I, could, I couldn't find my neck brace, but yeah. just imagine that it's here. Right. It's there. Imagine everyone. And she's going to do an analysis of an interview that was done um, uh, with uh, Gianna, which is Bianca Devin's best friend, and then her sister, Liv, Olivia. Olivia. The one that we talked about kind of that was not really, that was really traumatic to them, right? That I thought was really traumatic. So Lisa watched it and she's going to give her thoughts. Take it away. That's Lisa. neck brace Karen to you. Uh, neck brace Karen. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, she put that, wait, let me put that on my thing. Hold on. Okay. I got to put my, uh, hold on. I got to put my, what, why isn't it, why is it? Oh, I can, I can change your name. Remember Luke showed me how I can do it. I can put it in. Oh yeah, let me change, let's... change my name. Let me see. Neck my name. All right, okay. so I just, as Neck Brace Karen, as you all know, I, I like to, you know, take notice of certain things, certain circumstances. So anyway, I, I saw, I saw this interview and here's a couple of things that I noticed. Okay. So right out of the gate, um, the interviewer, um, starts complimenting um, Gianna by saying, oh, you're ready and I'm not, you know, because she was sort of, you know, sitting there at the ready, which is a good, is a strategy that, that shows like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a good person. I'm here. See, I'm not a scary person. I'm going to ask you some questions, but like, see, you're ready and I'm not. It's a way of drawing somebody in um, and sort of acting like, see, I'm your friend. Like, I think you're really cool. Um, I thought that was interesting. And then she started asking some questions about their relationship because Gianna was saying, you know, that um, they grew up together and and um, she says, oh, there were, there were three sisters and that, you know, that's uh, uh, <coughs> when uh, you were like three sisters. So what, out of the two sisters, did you feel like the third wheel in the, in the relationship? And I thought that that was very interesting because it's sort of like saying, like, starting to chip away at, like, trying to look for something negative right. um, about the victim. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Do you see it that way, Carolyn? Yeah, like, yeah. Right like away. Kind oh, of making her like, like oh, real? they didn't really like you as much, you know. You right, right. Like, like trying to, to, to um, take away that camaraderie that they had. Mm -hmm. by, by intimating that there was something there. It would be like you and me and Scooter together, right? Like, right. oh, wait a minute. You guys aren't really that close, right? Right. You know? and, and kind I of also right making her maybe not be like, 
to have some almost animosity towards Bianca as she's going to mm -hmm. go into what she's going to go right. into, right? Like, oh, maybe she didn't like me that much. Right. Oh, wait, maybe she's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, wait, I didn't even think of that. Maybe there was that time that I did feel like the third Right, year. right, yeah. It's Put very psychological. Right, mm -hmm. very psychological. What? Putting the doubt in her head. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then the second thing, she separated the French, she separated her friendships from real life friends. In other words, from online friends to real life friends. Like, again, intimating that Bianca was a separator, a divider. So here's my online friends. Here's my in life friends, mm -hmm. my real life friends, my online friends. Meanwhile, a lot of people do that. I mean, right. how many of you guys did I never meet in person, right? Mm -hmm. And look at how close we are, right? And yeah. especially young people. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But right away, out of the gate, there's a criticism of the victim. Mm -hmm. Right out of the gate. As if to say, you know, look what she did. She divided people. It's a, it's a very subtle thing that mm -hmm. right, at, right at the beginning, she's sort of putting out there, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. yep. Um and she 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 said something like that's very in, like things like it's very interesting because this isn't what many people do. Uh, that that they divide their life like that. Really, I found I found that to be strange because a it lot of strange. people do that. Yeah, a lot of yeah. Right, they don't yeah. divide. And, but but just by saying like that there was this division there, when right. that's really not true. A lot of people do that. Um, <clears throat> Uh, then she says to her, I'm really proud of you and live for your courage. Um, drawing her in again, saying, I'm really proud of you. You know, she's recognizing probably that, you know, these are young girls. Right. This yeah. is very difficult uh, for them to do. And as an older person, trying to take on a little bit of that maternal role mm -hmm. again, you know, mm -hmm. drawing them in. And then she says, here, and then she tries to, then she brings up next, did you get closure? Did you get any closure uh, in terms of when, uh, uh, you know, with the trial and everything like that? Right. And uh, they said, and they, no, there is no closure. Uh, not with, with the trial, with his um, pleading guilty or whatever it was that, that was, no, there is no closure. How could there be clothes? And she goes, yeah, sure, sure. He's where he needs to be. So, uh, and she goes, you know, there won't be any closure. So it's almost like she goes, she's like going in and out. Okay. So mm -hmm. criticism of the victim, uh, camaraderie with, with the girls, you know, so she's sort of working on your, um, you know, working on pulling them, pulling them in, but criticizing them. And then Gianna starts right at right in like what is your relationship with brandon what draws you to this case and why do you feel for brandon so gianna's having none of it mm -hmm. she's not for you know she doesn't fall for that which right. i think is really really interesting these girls are sharp right they're young but they they get the whole now she realizes like i'm not they're not buying it you know mm -hmm. so gianna's sort of getting like confrontational and she says I am drawn to cases in relationships where something goes horribly wrong. Um, and then I wrote instinct, mental health. And then she, and then Gianna says, how could you, how could you um, be interested in the mental health of Brandon, somebody that would do this? She says, well, I've been texting with his dad, his mom, his aunt, uh, and I've spent the last three months getting to know them in their history. And I'm struck by the fact that there is no history of mental health problems from somebody who has no history of mental illness and how heinous the crime was, things, things of that nature. So, but that contradicts what she's saying. She's saying that he's got so much, right? All the mental health problems that he had and how the bad, now she's saying there's no history, there's no evidence of it. Right, right. Okay, that's interesting. The brand, she said Brandon would have been the last person you would have expected to do this. I think that this is interesting that crimes ha these crimes happen to other people until it happens to you. So she's using the phraseology like, oh, it happened to you. So it didn't happen to me. So therefore, 
-hmm. You know, I find it really interesting, but it didn't happen to me. So I can find it interesting because it's not happening to me. It's happening to you. Do you see like how that's Mm -hmm. sort of like, um, I don't know, what's the right words I'm looking for? It's like, it's, I'm not the victim here. So I can, I can afford to be invested in this kind of nonsense because like it didn't happen to me. So if it didn't happen to me, it really isn't relevant to my emotional system, really. Right. Because if it really was, you couldn't do it, right? None mm-hmm. of us could do it, right. right? Okay? And these people, the family of Brandon, are su- also suffering, and that needs to be recognized. Brandon's family is devastated, too. No one wants to hear from that family, and they are just cast aside. I want to make a comment about that. Because my theory is that this creator is also a person who feels cast aside Mm -hmm. and that there's a camaraderie there there's an identification with that and that and that's why there's such an interest um a strong interest in that because when you identify with somebody else who's cast aside there's a there's you know then you're more likely to go and invest in that relationship rather than the victim's family, rather than the victim, right? Mm -hmm. And she says, quote, I know it's not easy for you. It's not easy for me either. But if it wasn't easy for you, why would, you know, it has to be easy for you on some level because you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Because we naturally are averse to things that are not pleasant, right? So if it was something that wasn't, pleasant you wouldn't be doing it right right Mm -hmm. i like that okay so now we're back to um a compliment Mm -hmm. i like that you're being super frank with me because now what's happening is gian is getting you know pretty agitated and she doesn't probably doesn't want her to leave oh yeah she was Uh, getting really upset yeah and don't forget the ultimate i believe that the ultimate wish here is to keep her on to generate views Mm -hmm. Because I think what's very, very important is views and building up a channel, ultimately. I really... To get that narrative out, to get the other narrative. To get it out, right. Now, she all Liv starts to want to come in at this point, but she makes her wait. Right. But didn't didn't, um, Gianna say something in the beginning, something like, uh, she kind of told her, she said, I'm going to talk about Bianca and what she was about and you know like she wanted to get stuff out about Bianca she said I want you to let me talk about her right yes yeah well yeah and like she could also be at this point feeling like she might be losing some control of Gianna Mm -hmm. and if she lets live on she's got this two against one right so if she lets live on she's got to deal with both of them at once right now she's got to get Gianna under control because if she loses Gianna then Liv it strengthens Liv before Liv even comes on it Mm -hmm. pulls her up Mm -hmm. so she's got to she's got to get Gianna under control plus if you if you take if you if you take two people on you're putting all your eggs in one basket you can't prolong the broadcast Mm -hmm. so you have to spread everything out right right yeah. And then there's I, I took a uh, special note of, of, a, of a marker there at 23 minutes where she actually laughs and says, I get it. You don't want to talk about Brandon, but you want to ask me about my relationship with him. But I thought it was a really interesting sort of um, small snippet of a behavior that's a little bit of laughing Mm -hmm. at Gianna because you see a little bit of a glimpse of disdain that's showing through of what her real feelings are there Mm -hmm. now I don't want to be insulting I don't want to go I'm not trying to go low or anything but I'm just saying it gave a little tiny glimpse of what happened to her at that moment when Gianna was, uh, you know, Gianna started getting emotional right before that, where she might have started to feel a little bit more in the hot seat. And then instead of, instead of feeling like, 
you know, like this empathetic kind of thing, she almost was getting like, it, it, it came across as almost like uh, laughing at the, oh, you know, there was some sort of small, like, <laughs> I get it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was it was a very small uh, thing to uh, a small behavior, but it was there, and I took notice of it. It was the only time I think I really took notice of a marker, right? Where you could see see where there's a little bit of a piece of behavior that shows a true feeling that maybe she was trying to conceal that she couldn't conceal that mm -hmm. easily. Um, and again, she didn't want to bring Liv on until she was really ready for her because. She couldn't have two, two, two against one, oh, and she yeah. had to, she had to keep that going. Um, let's see. Uh, and there's also another person. aspect to this. If she, she had, to, she has to keep Liv waiting also to show that she's the one who's in charge mm -hmm. um, of the channel and what's happening. Um, that she gets to delegate who comes on and when. And that's a strong psychological uh, piece to what's, you know, to how this unfolds. Because she knows that she's advocating for a cold-blooded blooded killer. So she knows she's at a disadvantage. So she has to really market this the right way. Otherwise, she could lose control of whatever, of her narrative. And she, so she has to be really careful. Um, Gianna said... Came, at, came right at it with, what did you mean by Bianca having a death wish? Um, I have been asked to not reveal my source, she said. I have proof of how severe her mental health issues were. And she brought up something by, that she said something that Bianca was um, engaging in some high risk behavior. But she um, wouldn't and she was compulsively drawn toward um, and she seemed to talk a lot about her own death. And then uh, in other words, uh, she was questioning her about this, Gianna. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, and here it comes again, you ready? She goes, "Are you being sarcastic with me oh. to Gianna?" which I I, I just couldn't believe she said that. You know, right. it, it was very, um, uh, you know, insightful into this sort of theme of like this underlying disdain mm -hmm. uh, for the victim, another victim, right? Right. And mm -hmm. uh, another parental, are you being sarcastic with me? Like, I'm the older adult here. And, you know, you can say whatever you want. But mm -hmm. so I thought that that was really... Uh, you know, kind of a, a, of a really insightful thing that she said uh, to Gianna because Gianna was being much, much too confrontational for her. She didn't really like that. Um, she also, uh, let's see. Then she, she, she walks it back a little bit and she says, uh, Brandon is where he needs to be. Bianca is, in, is an innocent victim. She didn't want what happened to happen to her, and he needs to be held to, held accountable. So she goes, she walks it back, um, and um, you know she tries to pull it back because I think she realized, whether consciously or unconsciously, that you know she she might have um, you know she might have gone a little too far with that. Right. Because mm -hmm. she wants to keep her on. Yeah. You know? and, and then at one point she dropped off and then thought like, oh, I hope it's just a technical issue, remember? Right. Right. Yeah. And right. Exactly. And then she goes, um, I'm not revealing. She, she was really into this whole thing about um, not revealing her sources about yeah. Bianca's mental health problems. I'm not telling. I can't reveal. um you know anything about what what I know about Bianca? I I I can't I can't I wasn't given permission to reveal that. Um, uh, sorry, I'm just. She goes, and the fact that she didn't get the help that she needed infuriates that the f out of me. 
And so she's building up this case that right, right. So she's placing blame on basically her mother, parents, or whoever right. didn't get and her help for some reason. Which no matter what mental health problems a person has, right, they don't deserve to be murdered. It right. has no, one has nothing to do with the other. Right. You know, like is she trying to imply that Bianco told Brandon to kill her? I mean, she, God, she, well, she is saying, with the death wish thing, yeah, kind of, yeah. Where is she going with that, right? Very strange. <clears throat> and then, uh, so she, there was another, there was another point that I thought was, um, here, here she goes again with this, uh, I have the testimony of his family. I, I, I have, I, I have a lot of information from his family. I don't have a lot. Of, oh, he, this is, this is an interesting thing. When, when Gianna said, she goes on and on about, um, how, uh, cause Gianna had asked her, especially in the beginning, like, why are you so interested in, in, um, Brandon? You know, why would you, why would you even do this? Um, and I put a star next to this. I don't have a lot of people in my life that give an SH about me. Meaning Brandon does care about me. Right. And she relates mm. to him in other videos. I've seen her say she relates to right. him. Yeah. Brandon expressed an investment and concern about my experience. So right off the bat, what you what you really can see here is that it's all really about her mm -hmm. and her loneliness and her own lack of connections with other people in her life, and she identifies with Brandon now because they're both on an island, and out of everybody in her life, he's the one who gives an sh about her. Mm -hmm. So, if you're looking for a reason as to why. She's hanging on to him. It's because this is a person who doesn't have a lot of connect. It, she's saying it, and I don't have a lot of people in my life that give an sh about me. Brandon expressed an investment and concern about my experience. Mm -hmm. So there's there it is in a nutshell. You know what I mean? This is why she is connected to him, and. She's holding on to that for dear life, even if it means that he's a murderer, a cold-blooded killer, right? Wow. Um, so I thought that that was um, very interesting because it tells the whole story. It really does. And now you have to realize what you're dealing with when you listen to somebody like this. Um, so after the, at this point, I'm just... I'm just summarizing this really quickly. I, I have other things, but I'm just trying to go fast. Uh, and the other thing is, Gianna, Gianna says uh, things like, she was doing really great, Bianca. She, she didn't have any major problems in her life. She was fine. She, did, you know, she was doing really well in her life. Um, but she disregards that. Mm -hmm. she, doesn't, she doesn't go into that. And then all she keeps saying is, I have testimony from his family. I have witnesses that tell me all this, but I can't share my sources. Right. Listen, yeah. I could say anything about anybody. I could say, well, Carolyn told me, you know, I don't know, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just say, yeah, but, you know, uh, no, oh, somebody told me this about so-and-so, but, you know, I can't tell you who it was. Right, yeah. Just believe me. Yeah. Just believe. But if, um, if, um. Gianna is saying it, it doesn't, it's, it, it doesn't have yeah. the same weight. It doesn't right. carry the same weight. Right. All right. right. So then finally, she just, um, finally allows, uh, Olivia. uh, live in. She finally lets her in. Uh, this is heavy stuff. Don't think I'm not feeling it. Uh, right before she lets live in. I get it. I know this is really tough stuff. So now she's priming Liv to get to come in. Before she comes in, she's throwing out another complimentary phrase of, of empathy that, that um, doesn't seem to really be there, but she's priming Liv to come in. And now Liv comes in, right? Mm -hmm. 
Um, I respect your, uh, Liz says, I respect your opinion. Um, but don't you think that Brandon could really be manipulating you? Um, and she says, uh, and Liz says to her, what is your purpose? Uh, and she says, I have an interest uh, in mental health, particularly in this case. Now, this is the oldest story in the book. People that say they have an interest in mental health, and then they think that they can become armchair psychologists or psychiatrists. Mm -hmm. And just because they have an interest in mental health, they believe that they, they can start to study behavior and understand it. And it is just a real, listen, we're all interested in mental health, right? Mm -hmm. We don't go out and become best friends with a murderer, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And it doesn't justify doing that. But this is what a lot of these people do. They, they use that right out of the, uh, uh, it, it, you know, this is, this is the oldest story in the book, you, you, right? It's a common denominator, right? Right. And then I wrote something like, this is a person who was judging a person's worthiness to live. That's what I put in my, uh, and then I wrote in my own notes, what does this victim, what does a victim's mental health have to do with her becoming a victim of a crime? But she's, she's using that as a thesis in this whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Especially with Liv. Um, uh, here's something interesting. Liv says to her, did you see the report, uh, of the psychiatric report. Of the psychiatric, right? yeah. the psychiatric report. And then she, did you see what she says yeah, to she her? said, you believe everything you hear? She said, the psychiatrist read it in the court. You believe everything they tell you in court? Right. They yeah. could be wrong. Psychiatrists could be wrong. So now Liv is talking about a legitimate report. Uh, piece Re of information mm -hmm. that's been, you know, validated. Right. right. So mm -hmm. I can't believe validated. We can't believe that source, but we can re believe believe unverified that. Right? Yeah. Unverified testimony from uh, whoever exists in the stratosphere that she hasn't even named. They're credible. Right. And also about the EED, extreme emotional right. disturbance. She, Liv said that she couldn't right. have used that. The psychiatrist said there's no basis for that. There's no mental illness there. He couldn't even use that. So why are right. we even talking about this? And then, oh, you know, who said that? What report? What, oh, the, oh, you believe everything? Yeah. yeah. Do you believe everything? I mean, that that's, you know, that there's a lot of things that go in front of a court that aren't true, mm -hmm. you know? Right. And, um, you know, why would you believe that? And, and you know, the kid was amazing. I mean, Liz Oh, yeah, just, she was, yeah. yeah. She's just a kid. I know, 17. And yeah. she came, she was amazing. She was, and here you have this person who's saying, Oh, don't believe that. Believe me. Mm -hmm. You know, believe what I'm saying. Like, all these people told me all this stuff. Like, does that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. Have you heard other people and other families and friends from other mass mm -hmm. murders of uh, family annihilators saying, right. oh, but yeah. he was, he didn't do, oh, he didn't mean that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, but believe them, but don't believe the experts, right? You could see how that unfolds, right? Yeah, right. And you, and know, what's, you know what's the, silly though? But, but they, they say she had a she said she had a death wish, right? Okay, that's not true. But let's just say it was true. Let's say then you still need that he. So what does that? If she had a death wish, then he just goes like, "What if you, Lisa? I'm going out with you, and you go, hey, I have a death wish. All right, Lisa, let me just pull over and I'll and I'll take care of it for you. Okay, like, am I gonna do that? That if that was you, that's you know what I'm saying." He exactly. what, he just obliged her, so he should just be like, "Oh, I was just obliging her. I was just trying to, you know, fulfill her." Yeah. Right. That's all. I'm not really say, nothing wrong with me that I did it. You know, exactly. And I took, like, I don't know. Do you think she's trying to say that he was that she want? They yeah, were I think she's trying to say that together? he was he was obliging her. Like he was helping yes. her. He's being a nice guy. Jeez. You know what I mean? He was helping oh. her with that. They would get that off well, her list. You know. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that was exactly. so absurd. Yeah. Right. But you, what you really have is a very, very needy person who doesn't have a lot of connections in their own life mm -hmm. and is taking on a person who doesn't have anybody left in their life because they're a hated murderer, horrible, heinously murdering person. And he's, he needs her really. Right. Mm -hmm. 
and she needs somebody in her life because she she admitted he's the only one who really gave an sh about me and she identifies with him too uh, there's another video where she says she i just sees a lot of herself in him there's she sees a lot of similar things right yeah right yeah so she's not coming certainly from a place of a great argument she's not coming from a place of great ego strength or anything like that a lot of credibility um and I think in comparison to the young ladies that came on here, Gianna and Liv, I mean, the girls are brilliant. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't, if you, if you look at like where these girls will be when they are her age, it's, it's crazy. I mean, right, right, right. Uh, so after Liv leaves, she compliments both girls because now she right, wants to up yeah. the views, right? Yeah. And then she, st and she starts getting, she pretends she's like choked up though or something. Oh, those yeah. girls, right? And then somebody right. I think said to her, how come you're being so nice to them now when, when they were on, you weren't like that. You were very condescending and, you know, oh, but before that, I, the part that really struck for me was when Liv was pleading with her, like, why are you doing this? Like, yes. What, why, what are you getting out of this? Do you know how hurtful this is? How yes. would you like it if it was your family, if it was your sister? How would you? And she goes like this, just get off social media. Like she just said, yeah, it's she so goes, cold. Just get I off social media. Yeah, don't watch. Just yeah, get don't off, watch. Get off social media. You shouldn't be on there. It's, if something's triggering, you should get off. Right. And it's like, I what? Think. Yeah. The and, argument, that argument is like this. Mommy, I want to go out and, and steal the cookies from the cookie jar. So just close your bedroom door mm -hmm. so you can't see that I'm stealing all the cookies from the cookie jar. Just shut the door. Right. Or I'm in Target right now and I want to steal everything. So you know all those security cameras? Just shut them off. Like, it just, it, what she's yeah. saying doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It, it's just like this. You ready? Well, I want to be on YouTube and make and and get views. Mm -hmm. I want to build a channel. So just shut oh, it off. Worse like, than I that, really remember when she this. said I can talk about whatever I want on my channel? Remember right. when she said that? She goes, I can talk about whatever I want on my channel. Yeah. But you really can't. You're not supposed to be abusive no, to you're vulnerable not. individuals. You're not supposed you're to not. be victimized people. It's not that you can you're just talk about whatever you want. Right. Yeah. But and she goes like this. Now she says, she says, listen to this. She brings up the YouTube channel she, and she calls herself a creator. People love to do that when they don't really create. Uh, when, the, when the first tip off to a person who doesn't create is when they call themselves a creator. A, cr a real creator doesn't have to call themselves a creator mm -hmm. because they're too mm -hmm. busy creating. <laughs> they don't have to say, I'm a creator. They don't have to say it. Right. Okay. Carolyn, how many times have you called yourself a creator? Never. Because you're creating. You don't have to say you are one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she says she doesn't care about views or anything like that. But the first thing she says is I'm a creator. She brings up the Watts case. And then she goes like this. I don't have a lot of views. First thing that's, that is your first mm -hmm. tip, tip off that said. And then she says, I don't really care if I do or not. Yeah, they also. I, 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 I just, I don't, I enjoy analyzing why things happy and that, that makes me happy and it gives me a deeper multi-layered multi understanding and sharing what I've learned. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really care if I don't have, if I don't have a ton of subs, I don't care. It's okay. I'm not a drama channel. So now all of a sudden live and Jana leave. So here comes the cell. Gianna Obarn. Live or gone. Instead of saying, look, this was a tough subject. Let's go now. Because it, it really is a tough thing for some people. Right. She starts to sell. I don't really care about reviews. I don't really care about, I don't care about views. I don't care about subs. It's okay. I'm not interested in being a drama channel. Yeah. Right. And what, and what does this a drama is, channel have to do with anything? Like, because right. they're the only channels that get views. Yeah, you and, know. right. And then she goes, check out the Watts case. That's an unprecedented case, right? <laughs> and so she goes on. Um, and then she talks about psychologists. She'll be like, 
um, it's, she said something like, it's odd to write. She goes, some people, uh, she read a, oh, she likes to read comments to people. That's right. So she wrote, um, it's odd to write to a murderer, somebody wrote. And she goes, why is it odd? Psychologists talk to them, putting herself in the role in the same place as a professional, right? right? It's like, well, they do it. Why can't I do it? I, you know, what, what makes them different than me? Right. Right. How is it harmful? And if you don't want to take, if, if you don't want to take my word for it, that's totally, that's totally uh, legit. And then she goes like this, you know, I really want to get my hands on discovery, meaning I think I need to build up my credibility a little bit here. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, maybe I am slipping up a little bit. Like I don't have, but, you know, she's probably thinking back on, well, wait a minute. I didn't really give that much proof of anything. I told them like, I'm not revealing my sources, you know, right. Oh, and and if I'm you asking knew what I had, if you knew what I had, like, you know, right. Oh, so yeah. maybe I better use that word discovery because, you know, people like Carolyn, you know, they, they like to use that word discovery. No, Carolyn gets discovery. Carolyn reads discovery. Carolyn deals with facts, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So she, so she goes, I really want to get my hands on, on discovery. You know, I really need that. So now she's pulling that up to say, hey, wait a minute. You know, then she goes like this. I'm about the facts. When I set, when I speculate, I will say so. When I find a reliable source, I will say it's legit. Yeah. <laughs> but you won't reveal your source because first of all, let's go back to this. Say you do have a source, right? Mm hmm. It's still opinion, right? It's still just opinion of other people. You can't, our legal justice system is only relying, only relies on expert opinions, not family members that love their family member mm -hmm. or a friend, or we don't build our justice system on that. Okay. It's other, it's utter nonsense. When she says, I am about facts. When I speculate, I will say so. When I find a reliable source, I, I say it's le I will say it's legit. And then I put in parentheses, she seems a little emotionally shaky when she's reading some of the comments. Um, when she negates the significance of the murder photos, she is showing some sociopathy, I wrote. Um, you don't have to have the pet, the clout of a paid journalist to justify why she, oh, I said she doesn't have the clout of a paid journalist to justify why she should be believed. That's another thing. A lot of journalists will say, I won't reveal my right. sources. I won't reveal my sources, but those are, those are um, journalists. Right. Right. You know, it's a, it's a very, very different thing than just a lay person. That's like walking the door one minute, going home and having that coffee not revealing my sources. You know, it's like there's some grandiosity here. Right, right. Uh, that's very, very strange. But then, and what about what she says about how, to, when she tells them how scary prison is? Mm hmm And they're supposed to, and then she says, it should be, right? I, I forget what it was, Gianna or Liv said. It should she be. She said it scary. should be. He should be. He should be this way. He murdered someone. He shouldn't wear, you know, like, you know. Which I think she's identifying with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, would, yeah. I would be so scared if I was in. Yeah. Uh, if I was it's very there. scary. Ooh. It's very dismal. Right. It's it's not good. You know, like. But who think? Did, did you ever grow yeah, up thinking like prison's it's a great to be place? A good place? Like, did you ever get to get prison and be like, right? Wait a minute. My parents always told me this is a good place to be. What's going on here? Right. Oh no. Oh gosh. Right. So, I mean, it's just. I don't know. Yeah. And again, I wrote in my notes here again about the, the uh, extreme uh, emotionally disturbance. Liv said, you know, that was not a factor here. Mm -hmm. But the court does lie. And I wrote, but you don't, right? <laughs> he oh, didn't, also, right. Uh, she said she knew that Bianca was um, deeply emotionally disturbed because she read her text. Oh yeah, that's right. She read her text. I saw that. In fact, you're right about that. I, I forgot to mention that. 
um, I don't care how emotionally disturbed a person is, they don't deserve to be murdered the, that way. Mm -hmm. I don't care. There's a, listen, there's a lot of people that have a lot of mental issues and they certainly wouldn't, wouldn't want that to be done to them. One thing does not follow the other, but I think she's building, she wants to come out and say, well, she wanted him to do that to her. She's actually right, and he was doing. He was he was a nice guy out. doing a favor for her. Like that's how she make it sound. But she he was right. just doing and, a favor and, for her. He right. didn't know anything. And guess what? There'll be a time. I bet you any amount of money, she's going to come out and say that she's building that case for that. He's such a nice guy. He didn't know any better. He just wanted yeah, to do what she wanted. It. That's what she probably said. Right. You know, something like that. I think she's building up to that. But it was it was an interesting thing to watch how she tried to manipulate. Well, she tried to manipulate the girls, the two girls, and I'm calling them girls because they're just so young, but they're brilliant. Mm -hmm. They're br they were just. I thought that yeah, she even thanked her like after she's like, "So thank you for having me here." You know, I'm just like, oh my they God. were so respectful yeah. and so classy, and um, they were they did they were confrontational on a certain level, but they still maintain their composure, mm -hmm. which I don't think a lot of people could have done that. Right. And um, but I think that, um, you know, they did an amazing job. They got their points across brilliantly. Mm -hmm. And um, I think in the process, I think we really did see the um, the motivations and the vulnerability of the argument of the create of the creator of the person who but more than that i think that the fact that like she, you could see through it but the fact that she spent about two months here in the chat getting ingrained with everybody um saying totally lying that she was going to come up and talk about the delphi case and then scooter says are you going to tell us about the delphi case and it was just like no i'm not <laughs> i know my true I, and i was just like what is going on I I I don't know anything about that. So explain to me what what that well, person well, did she's because been in the I chat didn't right aware now, Danielle for like probably about two months since she's been back. Yeah, I think all she did was um, just say I have a channel. I have a channel. I, that's what but, that was my thing. And yeah. she spoke about something else and. But she would she would be whatever she, it would be like she was yeah, like it, oh, it was Carol, dishonest. Be it New wasn't Jersey like she, New she York, wasn't. It was... She knows that this is. A place for victims that we yeah. don't back murderers. Yeah, you know, and then and you then, know maybe she felt like she could get away with it. No, I think that no, she wanted views. She, she wanted to get up there on the her. panel, and I think she was playing all of us. Yes, and um, well, no, there's there was this really suddenly on the panel. Suddenly, I'm getting the impression that she's running your channel. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. like. Uh, really? I, that was the impression I had sitting there too. And I, I, there was something I brought up and I'm sorry I brought it up because I, it sort of died in the wrong place. And that was Chris Watts. Yes. And you know, people are disappointed that they didn't get to hear everything about Chris Watts. And my point would have, was going to be people are disappointed, but that doesn't give them the right to go run, and it, it doesn't give them the authority to change his uh, fate. What happened is, right. and you've pointed this out many times, Carolyn, if, if there were anything, Sandy said this to you, I believe, I don't want to quote anybody, but I, I have Right, they didn't leave any rock unturned, that one? Exactly. Yeah. And if there was anything with Nicole, what's mm -hmm. in the air? Kessinger. The girlfriend, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Whatever, Kessinger. If there was anything with her, if there was, you know... Yeah, they weren't going to let it not, go. They wouldn't let it go. They were going to just let it go. go. No, they wouldn't have let and, her go. And just because people want to know more, it, they, they don't have a right to know more. How it's many... Never, right, Lou, no, how many times have you heard that, said, oh, but I just want to know more? Yeah. Well, you know, tough tarts. Exactly. Well, that was sort of... That's why I brought it up. And then, unfortunately... Right. It never went anywhere, and then I was—I said something about it, Andrea Watts, because there. I mean, there's a—I I think there's a distinction, but I don't think yes, this is where it wants to go. Yes. I think there's a distinction between criminally insane people and hardened criminals who've 
bludgeon gas station attendants and you know torture animals, right? I mean, there are all these different levels of criminality, and and this guy is just bonkers to me. Mm -hmm. And if he, but he wasn't found to be criminally insane. No, not at all. That's right. Um, on the other hand, he doesn't fit with the the people that you know just go around committing. I, I mean, oh. they're all hardened criminals, but but that's a whole different. It, um, what bugs me is that this this person doesn't seem to know what she wants. She says, "Well, he's right where he should be," but that's only only well, then to what's get. What's the point? Then but that was only right where he should be. You know what, Moo? Though she's only saying those things to appear to be compassionate toward the victim. It's only toward the end of getting views and building a channel. Well, and she doesn't that, really believe that. She's only that, like she that's, only... that's I think the point is that if if you try to pin her down, I, I mean this is the reaction everybody's had. The minute if you try to pin her down on anything, there's all this hedging. And it's it's right. you know, I feel like just, she doesn't really believe it grabbing her by the shoulders and saying, what the heck do you want? If, you know, what, what she wants is she wants to be buddies with this really sick person. Right. Who did this unspeakable. And she wants to defend him publicly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing, I, I don't want to give her, you know, more views than she so desperately wants, but the, um, also, it bugged me because I had complimented her, I don't know, a week or two ago, because a couple of years ago, I had seen her on panels. I'm not going to mention who's. And then I, and I liked the way she could listen to people who said really stupid crap, but she listened respectfully. You know, she let people say what they had to say, and then she'd be complimentary. Well, we, you just pretty much. Um, dissected that little method, that seems to be her method. And I was taken in yes. by that. I complimented her, you know, a week or two ago. I said, you know, I, when I did look at her channel, which by the way, what I knew of her was before this hideous crime with Bianca had even taken place. I mean, I haven't, it's, I don't even think she's been active on there. And then she was that on and then took down her channel and I kind of kept up with it. And but I did remember that when she listened, you know, she seemed to listen to people and then uh, and then uh, praise them. And that's not how it was. Yes. It. But it all right. falls to that thing. And if you go back into the chat after she got off, she said she got off the panel out of respect for Car I think Carolyn specifically. Right. You know, well, that it's easy like, to act. Right. And she said she got out of the. She got out, off the panel. She just left without saying goodbye, and but she stayed in chat. Yeah, she, she stayed in chat a while. Yeah, and then she continued to compliment. Yep. Cap she complimented Scooter. She complimented. She, she really knows how to play it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and good love song. Roses and flowers and love bombing, and then the next thing we know off on some other channel who's non-creative, you know, whatever, that non-creative. And um, she's over there talking about how traumatized she is. She said, what a lot of crap, you know? And I feel really stupid because I encouraged her. I, you know, I, I, know, I got but... suckered into her, her willingness to listen to people. And, you know, she, I, I feel stupid. Let and, me just and, oh, make a oh, comment about that a second, all right? Sure. Um, we're not, you know, programmed to be like, like psychological meters of credibility in people. We uh -huh. can only do, right, like we, we, we can only do the best we can, you know, with, you know, what was shown in how people act. And we don't always see through their motivations right away. It, it, in other words, these things have to unfold sometimes before we can really see the true motivations of people. And there's nothing to be ashamed of if you don't, if that sort of doesn't come together right away. Because it's really the patterns of the way people behave that really shows you, um, in the end, what they're really about. 
And um, so I don't think it's really fair for you to put that on yourself that like you should have known that automatically. I mean, I've done it where, you know, I, I mean, look what yes, happened exactly. with, with We J-Bounce. all see the best in people. Right, because right. we are all programmed for that. See, like, that's we want to th- see the best in that's people. That's the thing, Lisa. I, after the J-Bells thing, I should have known better. And yet here I am turning around like, oh, what a nice person. And, you know, right. it's funny because around, around the J-Bells deal, at the time I, comp- I, I went in and left a, a really sincere comment, and I left it up. I did not go back and delete it. Right. I, a sincere comment about something that this person had put out. I didn't realize that when they put this video out that it, it was supposed to be pointed because I I mean it was a general covering of I'm not gonna get specific on this one. You you guys probably can follow with what who who what whatever. But it was a it was an interesting uh, discussion or video. I don't even remember it frankly, but it was interesting. The thing was, it was meant to be an insult uh, pointing at someone, except that it just happened to be interesting about certain personality types. It wasn't something I said, oh, gee, that reminds me of someone I know. It it was like, wow, this is really interesting. I said, wow, that was really good. And, And I said to this person something like, you have a big heart, and you're such a kind person. And as far as I know, I left the comment up. I'm not going to go back and dirty believe things because I said it based on something I saw and that I believed about that person at the time. I since learned that if there is a kind heart in the person, it's, it's a really jumbled up by some serious issues. <laughs> right. Um, but... I, after that, you would think I wouldn't be so easily. I know, but I think, it, I, I think it's because, like, it's the place that you come from and you're, like, the person that you are that, like, I'm like that. I've been that way my whole life. I always see the good in people first, and um, I can be um, naive because of it. Yeah, I, I you know, I, I, I try to... I'm not sociable. I, I, you know, this is really so heavy socializing for me. This is so cool, you know, to be able to do stuff. Right. I'm not a sociable. I'm not adept at socializing. I'm better at writing. I communicate by writing primarily and texting. Right. I even talk to people on the phone. So it's unusual for me to talk with people of my stupid mouth. Right. Um, so this has been kind of a fun thing. Right, for me. and I mean, I'm not, I'm not really good at people, you know. I'm not good at people. I'm good at animals. Right. Animal, I know. Cooking. Right, I know. And and you know, it's it's really hard because like, um, there is a blindness to, um, when somebody has ulterior motives sometimes in, in certain people. There's a blindness. There's like a blind spot. Uh, and some people just have that little bit of blind spot. They just don't automatically pick up on certain things. Um, <laughs> I've got a 360 degree blind spot. Yeah, but you know, and I mean, <laughs> I, I'm sure I'm not the only one that's done stuff like that too. Where I just, I mean, my kids make fun of me all the time. I mean, I used to be worse though. I used to be really ridiculous. I, I'll give you. A, I don't know if I ever told you this this story. Once my daughter was in the hospital once, right? And um, she was like eight and we're in the hospital and we were, the hospital we were in was like this, each floor was like a tower that you could walk around like a circle. And um, she was in bed and um, there was a guy walking around the um, tower and he had his hands behind his back like this. And there was a police officer walking with the guy. And I said to Gina, Oh, look at that. That must be, um, you know, maybe an injured police officer and his friend is here visiting with him. You know, another cop is here. And my daughter, who's eight, said to me, 
Are you out of your mind? That guy's a criminal, and he's guarding that guy. Wow. He's, out of the he's, mouths of babes. And she said, Mom, why do you think his arms are behind his back? He's probably got freaking handcuffs on. <laughs> and I go, what? No. And she goes, yeah, he's probably guarding the guy. He's not visiting his friend. And she was right. I mean, that's dumb. Oh, my gosh. Because in my flowery, stupid head, it was like, well, the cop got her and his friend came to visit. Like, totally, I mean, and the kid's eight, and she's telling me, you know, to be real. Like, and she was right. She was right. right. Because it's just, I have, I'm better now. I'm not that naive, but. I have big blind spots when it comes to stuff. My mind wants to see like good people, good things. Like it, you know what I mean? Oh mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm, you know, I, I you know, it, it, it's easier when, when it's more obvious that somebody's not good. It, it jumps out at me in three seconds. But if, if this subtlety is going on, I mean, I guess that you can argue that that was really obvious stuff. But, you know, yeah, so it's cute. crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But I guess you, when you have a good heart, you just want to see goodness. I think that's yeah. really basically what yeah, it is. Yeah, maybe. You know, you just want to, because I, you know, when I meet people. You're looking I, for the good. You're looking yeah, for and the like, good. Yeah, I'm like, oh, what a breath of fresh air this person is. And it's like, oh my gosh, how many times have I said that? But myself. here's another thing. You might see, like, a snippet of somebody's behavior. They might do something nice in that moment. You don't see the whole pattern of it all. Like, this was more like, this was just, first this happened, the next thing happened. The next, you could see the pattern of the manipulation and, you know, pulling somebody in. You know, um, the motivation becomes more clear when you're watching the sequence of events in, in people. Oh, right, yeah. you could see yeah. that much, much easier. Well, but a yeah. snippet of behavior in isolation, you're not going to pick up on motivation. It's one behavior. It's one little. Well, I did find one thing because after I, I really didn't sleep all that night. I felt like um, I, I was um, horrified because you know here this person was on the panel, and then suddenly forcefully this was like a forceful assertion of this is what we're going to discuss. We're going to discuss this thing that's on my agenda. Here's my channel. Here's the blah, blah, blah. You know, there's this like take charge thing. And it really, you know, it's like, man, did I get suckered? Plus I encouraged her so much. Right. And but whether or not you encouraged her once or twice or whatever, she would have done what she was going to do anyway. Oh, definitely. Yeah, for sure. But it, you it know, bugged me. I know. And I, I went, because it bugged me, I, I wanted to see where, you know, where I went wrong. Because as I said, I, I watched this person literally over two years ago because, I mean, now that I've, well, I'm, I'm just going circular here. Now that I've gone back and looked things up, I realized she got into true crime because of Chris Watts. I just, you know. Well, so did a lot of people. Oh, yeah. And don't, but, and don't forget. Do you know when I got into true crime? Yeah. In a big way was Sharon Tate. That's how old I am. The the, the Tate. Oh, that was a big deal. That was the just Tate crazy. Love, yeah. yeah. Well, I was in. Um, and, and people forget about that. That was a well, terrific thing. I, I was uh, eight, uh, eighteen years old, and I was in Nantucket at the time. Right. I got summer jobs. I'm 16, 17, and 18 years old. I went there to work in the summers. And I remember I was walking down Main Street when I heard that beautiful Sharon Tate, you know, pregnant. And I she was pregnant. Huh? She was pregnant. She was eight, eight and a half months or eight, oh eight and a half months pregnant. And I loved her. She was so beautiful. And, you know, I was, uh, how old? She was 26 and I was 18. And I, you know, it was like I wanted to be her. And 
I'm walking down Main Street on Nantucket Island, and I see this headline about this horrible, brutal thing. Oh, and by the way, all the months, that was in August. I remember the dates. It was like August 9th, I'm pretty sure, of 1969. And... They didn't find who the killers were until, I believe, October. But it was a period of time. I, I didn't know that. And they didn't know who it was. Well, meanwhile, all of this stuff, all of this BS was circulating. Just the way you see all this crap that the, the Rusak had to put up with of all these people speculating and saying, oh, wait, it's my daughter texting me already. <laughs> we start early. Um, you know, all this speculation it was saying, oh, they brought it on themselves. They were all in drugs and sex. Right, work. right. And they were Same literally kind of talking about Sharon Tate being involved in satanic orgies. And I had already had an interest in true crime, but that's when I got really big time into it. So literally, this is back in 1969. That's how long I've been following true crime. And when I went out to California, I was really... Dedicated. I went to her grave site, and I went to the house up on Sierra Drive with um, my cameras, because I was also a photographer. And, you know, I'm, I was, like, totally interested the way true crime interested people are. I mean, there was nothing to be, I mean, by the time I got to California, it was, you know, a few years later, mm -hmm. so 1974, I guess. <clears throat> but um, now... But here's but, the thing, though. You but have, I wasn't trying to rewrite what happened. I never right. bought the part. I never bought the part that they were involved in orgies. That was just like a little load of crap. But you know, here's the thing. I didn't buy that. And and the truth came out in the trials. I mean, it was... And then for years, I followed the, the women, all these women, you know, they, they still give interviews. Um, what's your name? Uh, uh, Leslie yeah. Van Houten. Um, she's, she's, oh God, she's my age. She's about 71 now. And she was uh, 19 at the time of the murders. And she's, she, in fact, she finally got, um, not a uh, parole, but then the governor of California said, well, too bad you can't come out anyway because you suck, you know, <laughs> which is fine. I mean, none of those people should get out. They're all no. sent. No, you never get out. And, um, but anyway, so that was, but anyway, I, I'm sorry, I digress. But here, um, because I didn't know anything about this person who was on the panel, other than I encouraged her because I once had a good impression. So I went back, and I don't want to encourage people to do this, and she probably pull the things down anyway, because they don't really make her look so great. But I went back to the, I'm not even going to tell you the title of it. I went back to one of them, and it wasn't one that covered the crime. I, I, I looked at those, yes, and I definitely looked at the interviews with those lovely young women. With uh, Gianna's women. mother is in the chat. Oh, hi, Kim. I was, I was no, so no, nice. not Kim, Erica. Kim is Bianca's mother, but this is Gianna's mother. And Gianna's oh. mother. Oh, All I can say is she has a lot to be proud of. There were mm -hmm. lovely young women. She really. They were, they were just. I, they lovely. are so, so wise. Beyond, she was wise beyond her years. I mean, courageous, respectful. They were, mm -hmm. they were yeah. amazing. They were amazing. Well, Sorry I mean, about the meowing. Sorry about <laughs> the meows. I went back to look at, to see what the heck was the deal with this person who had been on. And I didn't go to the crime coverage, and I didn't go to the interviews, um, you know, with the young women, you know, um, with Gianna and Olivia. I, I went to another thing that had nothing to do with, uh, with uh, the cases, but it had to do with why this person got involved in true crime. And it's all right there in well, the first few minutes where the person is saying, I had a really screwed up life. I had one trauma after another. I had this problem, that problem. I have no credentials. I have no training. I'm not educated in this, but I'm interested. It was basically a, a perfectly honest 
uh, accounting of why she's obsessed with this and the part where she doesn't understand that you have to draw the line is right fine go be interested in it but mind your p's and q's well i so, i don't think that these people are really interested in true crime i don't think i don't no. think that I don't believe that they're really interested in true crime. No, I no. What I what I just, I think it's an excuse. What it says is it's self therapy, and it's like whatever. Go get your therapy privately. You don't do this in the face of the crime victims. Right, because it's like if she really, I because I saw her on another. I think it was on another video that she said it. She said she identifies with him or something. Or really, yes, she I, does. Okay, mm -hmm. and so if she identifies with him. And he did this yeah. heinous thing. He's in prison. Well, gosh, that would make her. She yeah, doesn't does want say? to. So if he's, you know, wrongly the her because he's really a good guy and he just didn't get this help, then then she's not ident. You know, if she's seeing herself in him, I think it's it's to help her reconcile her right. herself. Right. There's an outside motivation here. It has nothing to do with the crime. Nothing. But no, beyond that. Beyond that, I also think there's the factor that it seems maybe dangerous or, um, you know, almost like they treat the murderer like a celebrity. And, oh, you know, he's telling me this, only me this. And they take, they know that, yeah. like, oh, if he's in prison and he doesn't get this and she's promising him these things, maybe she can be, you know, this pen pal with him and then then i think he was telling her we'll write a book together and she's probably saying yeah well i know you can't profit from it but i can put stuff in your commissary and you know no one will be any the wiser and i'm that's my opinion i'm saying that but uh, you know i don't know she didn't you know but i'm just saying that well Maybe. no i think i think you're right the other thing she said very openly and this is why i believe she's going to take down that video that i looked at um because basically she's laying out her uh, her own i'm not going to call it psychopathy but it's well the uh, mental um issues um she was talking about him she, how excited she was to hear from him as yes those, and that's as why those, it's not a true like, crime motivation yeah and i know this is a very different thing I mean, when I was interested in true crime, and I did end up going into forensics. I, you know, I worked. I got very interested in forensic stuff, and you can certainly have your career shaped. I, you know, I ended up going into uh, medical photography, um, that, and and a whole and other things. I worked for the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology, which is all about forensics. It was. You know, it's a fascinating field, and, and sometimes these things can lead you to get an education. And in this case, this person is saying, well, I don't have an education, and it's almost like, I don't know if she said it's too late for one or whatever, but the thing is, if you want to do that, good. Do what Tammy Lee did. Become a, you know, go work for the Colorado Bureau of Investigation and, you know, do... Do some good for people, but get trained in it. Don't take your own um, pathology, and then and then get on a platform with the victims. Oh my God! I mean, this is so. I, I just wish there was a law against this. I mean, I, I I you know I hope if something comes out of this, it's it's where you know parents of these horribly murdered victims are able to put a stop to this you know where people can just get up there and say any crap they want and say well the person's dead i mean how many times do we hear that from that's the right more well-known uh, right you can't you can't offend a dead person right yeah. but um when you are interested in true crime really interested in true crime you don't you don't um have other motivations such as well, he's the only person who ever gave an SH about me. Right, exactly. Um, you know, you, you don't do, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, right. You don't go into, um, uh, 
her motivations are much more broad than, you know, she, her argument is destroyed. I mean, really, well, essentially. The, 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 the best part is that she, in this thing that I went back, she explains herself in maybe the first 10 minutes, because I certainly didn't sit through the whole thing. I think she covered her whole, uh, her whole, uh, I don't even like to use motivation. It's her whole, it's like the machine that drives her. Uh, yeah, she, and don't forget, it's really, really a lot about building her channel, her subs. It's very, very motivated by the outside but, yeah, she's definitely, of, of YouTube, really. She definitely uh, believes she's going to get subs and maybe income. Or, yeah, you know, that, she does. But her primary thing seems to be self-therapy. And she's sort of all over the place there because on the one hand, she doesn't, she, she doesn't think that you can trust people. You know, what do the courts know? What does the psychiatrist mm -hmm. know? And, and on the other hand, she's saying that she believed that Bianca was severely mentally ill. That's right. She wasn't help getting help. Tech. She wasn't getting but, help. But, Why wasn't she getting help? Right. So, yeah. uh, so she's, and the thing is that um, either let's see, was it Gianna, it was either Gianna or Liv said something like, but she was, or maybe it was um, Kim last night, she was getting help, it was successful, mm -hmm. she was doing fine, and you know, there's this person saying, no, 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 I know better because I am so screwed up myself, I know pathology when I see it, it's like, okay, well, you know, take your skills and go sit there and with that. I can say a lot more, too. About what? There's more. There, I could say a lot more, but I don't want to be. Oh, say more! I'll shut up now. I want to hear it. I, I, no, yeah, I mean, Mo loves listening. No, huh? I mean, I said Mo. She loves listening to Lisa. It's just, you know, <laughs> informal. Really let's put it this way: like informal observations. No, but I want. Um, I, 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 I personally am interested in the neck brace Karen um, stuff. I was really, I, I thought that was spot on. You know, just about stability, personal uh, stability of personality, um, you know, you know, but I don't want to get it, you know, I don't want it, I don't want to get into that, the things that I can't substantiate, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying to keep it just as, um, you know, First she did this, this is, then she did this, this show, you know, I'm trying to be more, a little bit more like that, but um, yeah, let's say there's a lot points. there. Yeah. Right. And everybody, anybody who's looking could tell, could tell that. Um, but the girls, I mean, I can't wait to see where they are when they're her age, when they're adults, because they are amazing. I oh, mean, man. That, I, you know, you talk about intellect and it, you don't see it that often in kids that young and yeah you know, in people of absolute calm and logic and um an ability to put emotion aside at at, at, at their age and, i would have been screaming and crying and getting completely mm -hmm. off well, I, I mean they were just and, and you know what i think that really really she had to hold herself back. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, and I think it really bothered her to see such really together kids. Um, yeah, you know, I, I don't know how old they are, but I'm old, so I'm calling them kids. Um, but they were. Olivia's 17, and I think, um, I think Gian is, is she 21? Or tw My God. But yeah, think about not, a person, so mature. a person who lacks real mental stability themselves and then you're looking at young girls and you who look have at, it all you know, together the, you look at the trauma and, that they went through and and guess what she can't say that they're in unstable the way that she could say about bianca who he who isn't here to defend herself now she has two girls that were like gianna's 19 her, and Liv is 18 okay you know part of her um they were they were just her her whole world Bianca, and now you're looking at these other two girls right that mm -hmm. that are there to defend themselves and they're to defend Bianca, right? and they have it all together, and she can't say the same thing about them. 
She right. can't argue. She, nobody could say anything about their credibility, and, and that's God. Oh, that that's had to right, be that's right. yeah, I don't know why I was thinking. So, yes, yeah. Gianna's nice. Yeah, it's, it's, and, um, and it had to be. It had to be had to be bugging her that they had so much credibility and poise and brains and all the stuff that she doesn't really seem to have. Yeah, you know. that, that part, um, Lisa, do that you mentioned, um, I, I actually had to rewind that part because I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It was the part where she said something like, are you being sarcastic with me? Yep. And I had to rewind that. I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. Are you being sarcastic with me? See, you could see every once in a while that little bit of disdain coming out because she couldn't and, suppress and it for too long. What, what it was um, was always being on the verge of completely losing control. It, yep, you could see when you could you could just tell that she had to really control almost herself. Almost losing it. Yep. And the interesting part is that here were two young women who experienced trauma that not many of us could imagine such a thing mm -hmm. you know and, and they weren't losing it they did and 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 i think it was i think that she expected them to and that she would have more of an upper hand and the fact that she didn't that they didn't lose it and she and they kept it together yeah she I wanted to bother her of course it did. Well, you did know, anybody I, pick up on that? I want to know, did anybody pick up on what Lou just said? That like she really seemed like it was it was a little bit difficult for her to keep it her for her to keep it together? Because yeah, I yeah. picked up on that. Yes. Yes, especially when they would ask her things and she would just um well, you know, and then she just the psychiatrist report, you know, what what where where did they read it? You know, do you believe what they they tell you in court? You know, like I, I think she was just like losing it. Like, you know, what do you, are you going to tell me about right. something in court now? Oh my gosh, you know. Well, this is this is um, right. This is a person who needs to get her own emotional state attended to in private. I mean, to do this on the public stage, it's so exhibitionistic. Mm, that is exactly correct. Office girls making it out of hemp and yarn, really? The other thing that I thought was interesting is there's this premise of, um, you know, that it's this is about prisoners' rights and putting. Oh, yeah, and know, saying that our mental health care, well, we know our mental health care needs help. We know child protective services need help, right? But then you can't just, you know, excuse that. And then, you know, it's not okay to just murder someone. It doesn't yeah, matter that, reform. you know, hey, right. I was hurting yeah. today, so I just murdered and, someone, you know. Um, you know, uh, and then that, the other thing I brought up, but also went nowhere because I realized, you know, if, if you try to have an intelligent discussion about things such as which prisoners belong where, you know, do you put the thugs in with the, criminally insane, you know, Je Jeffrey Dahmer's, do you put, where do you put a Chris Watts? Where do you put, um, and I brought up um, Andrea Gates, because she was a case where they did reconsider it. And they, in her case, she was, you know, deemed to be so emotionally um, disturbed that it was a little different and they did put her in the mental, and she'll probably never come out, but she is in a, in a probably a better place for her. Mm -hmm. um, right. And I don't think there's anything wrong with, with, but anyway, the only reason I brought that up is I thought that's what she was trying to talk about. I thought she wanted to talk about, you know, where it's appropriate to put people who are clearly deranged. Andrea Yates was clearly mentally ill. This guy apparently was not mentally. This is a, you know, maybe he's a nutcase, but he wasn't meeting. He he wasn't having um, the delusional stuff that Andrea Yates was. I don't, I don't mean to beat her to death on on this, but there are different kinds of mental illness. You know, and I don't think Chris Watts made anybody think he was mentally ill. Right, and and the other things are the searches that he did showed, you know, it wasn't he wasn't 
he he was fulfilling his own wish of doing this. It wasn't that exactly. he was filling anybody else's. He was the one that did the searches. He was the one that brought exactly. a knife. Yeah. Exactly. But mm -hmm. what I thought was so interesting was that any discussion of that, of, of these other cases, of saying, oh, yes, well, uh, you know, people wanted to know about Chris Watts, but they're too bad for them. I mean, I never got that far, but it's like, that's not the point of the court system. The point of the court system is to bring justice. Mm -hmm. And if that means taking a plea and nobody gets to hear the dirty detail, so be it. But it's not, we don't need to be privy to all of it. Um, and then the part about, you know, Andrew Yates, well, yes, there are different types of mental illness, there are different types of depravity. You know, someone like Jeffrey Dahmer, clearly he, he isn't, you know, a burglar or a home invader. He's something entirely different. Those things are certainly interesting to discuss. But what, what was so amazing that night was that this stuff was just cut off. It was just like there was no interest in actually discussing, patient, you know, uh, uh, mm -hmm. who's nuts versus who's an actual criminal. It was like, well, that's not really what the agenda was. Right, right. And the agenda goes back to everything Lisa D was talking about, which is that this is really personal. You know, somebody's, uh, you know, this is all projection. This is all her own. Uh, mm -hmm. It was. It seemed all for self. And then she kept saying to Jeanette, oh, Jeanette, you're so, oh, Jeanette, you're so passionate. Oh, I really like that about you, Jeanette. See, like, you know, just trying to say, well, why are you so, you know, passionate for the victims? You know, she kind of belittling her. Wow. Oh, it's calling her also, out. Yeah. just to hear the remarks, but, you know, uh, go back. I didn't go back to listen. <clears throat> I never listened to that night again I because it's stuck in my mind. But the way she was talking to Jeanette was sort of like an unruly dog. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, shh, you know, calm, like, calm down, you know, like. I don't was, what that. happened? I missed. Well, I Jeanette came up on panel, and and she and she and she kept saying, "Oh, oh, Jeanette, oh, I love your passion." Like, okay, condescending. Yeah, she was, yeah. She was love bombing. Yeah, so it that. was condescending mixed with outright, yeah, with outright almost with the mature emotion. Saying, "Why don't you shut the freak up?" Mm -hmm. you this know, person uh, that we're talking about did that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't, it wasn't, why don't you shut the freak up? But the, the little teasy parts were, if you go back and listen, I could be wrong because I didn't go back and listen, but there were some other parts that weren't so teasy. They were like, oh, uh, you know, c calm down, just calm down, you know. I, it, they were kind of just out and out. I hate of. that. It was, it was, um. Meanwhile, and, Jeanette has more brains in her little pinky. I hate to say it like that, but yeah, it, it was. Um, but it's true. Yeah, it's, did you ever notice that? It's always the people that are just. Yeah, that are always. And yelling. she's so grandiose, right? Yes. And yeah, they say things like they 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 know you know like oh well they were really let's just call them kids. And, um, you know, she didn't she she tried to make so much light of him that he was 20. She was like, let's just call them kids because they're right. The frontal lobe of the brain isn't even fully developed. So let's just call them yeah, kids. Like and she so, was you know, trained. I was like, what, what, you know, okay. There's a lot, there's a lot more, more to her there. There's a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't mean it because, you know, his brain isn't developed yet. You know, he's, right. he's young. Right. How about we put you in the same cell with him? With a knife. <laughs> See how you yeah. could you sleep and she, and she would say she would, but she would probably say, "Oh, I would do that. She probably I would, would help him. You know, I yes, I understand him, and he understands me, and we get along so well. And you know, I spoke to him two that times. That should tip today. off that the, her motivation has nothing to do with true crime, an interest in true crime. People that are interest really interested in true crime, they they don't go that way. Yeah, there's something funny about it. it's it's so it's yeah. A, mix of stuff here because it, it reminds me of uh, during the Bundy case. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember last name. I mean, there's oh, always, yeah, I mean, Car Carol Ann Boone. There was, I think she was an attorney, but she was, she fell in love with Ted Bundy. And what happened was in, 
in one of the hearings, Ted Bundy had some uh, ability to marry people. I forget if he was a justice of the peace or whatever, but he had a legal ability to marry people. Mm -hmm. At one point in his own hearing, he married Carol Boone right at his own hearing. Well, I basically, I, I don't, I can't well, I thought he proposed, didn't he propose to someone? He, he, he married her. Oh, I thought he proposed to someone there. He may have proposed to someone too, but he married Carolyn Boone. And then later, I guess the guards were looking the other way because he apparently took her behind this vending machine and- And she had a baby, right? Daughter, yeah, they have a daughter. And um, I, you know, I'm happy that this child's been, her identity has been kept secret. Um, nobody needs to, you know, have that bandied around. But but the the thing is that Caroline Boone wanted to marry him, had a baby with him, and then later, you know, she saw the light. You know, the scales fell away from her eyes. Um, so whatever this flirtation is going on, you know, go ahead and do that, but do it privately. Don't be sticking it out in people's faces. Certainly don't wave it in the faces of the victim's family. My God. Um, you know, I mean, a lot of people do that. They're, look at all the people lining yeah. up. Yeah. Well, can this. you imagine? I, bear, I guarantee you Barry Morphew has been getting, oh, here, Barry, here's your mail. You know, oh, exactly. Uh, yeah, definitely. Right, yeah. They're always groupies for these, these Oh, people. and then she said something about, remember when Tim Jones... Yes. Then she was like, oh, yeah, well, yeah. I'm like, well, he had the insanity, but it, it didn't go through. He didn't get yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, but he was abused. You know, but, okay. Yeah, but there's but a lot he, of people that are abused. That, it's okay. That's not okay to kill your five kids. Yeah, that was, you know, that was something to hear. Did I wake you up? Gary's here. Oh, okay. Neck brace, Hi, Gary. Karen. Neck brace, Karen's on duty here. Oh, really? Hi, yeah. Gary. <laughs> Morning. Morning. I told them you woke me up because you didn't have your uh, machine on. Sorry. Right. Have one of those delicious yogurts, Gary. <laughs> Would you say, Caroline? Yeah, Gary should have one of those delicious yogurts. He doesn't eat those. Oh, I, I thought he was eating those once. You said, oh, he's eating those. He doesn't eat those. Oh, no, okay. She hates the yogurts that, that I eat when I take my pills. Uh, I don't really hate yogurt. Yeah, he hates yogurt. But I thought the other, oh, he was eating cereal in a cup. That's what it was. I thought he ate the hey, yogurt. Gar, but but your, your dispute with those yogurts is the stevia, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have, a, I mean, I have a problem with stevia too. I, I can't. I, I, don't, I can't take the aftertaste. Yeah. I can't. I don't like it. stevia. Huh? I don't like stevia. I don't like stevia. But that's what's but in you, those yogurts. I know, but. Oh. I don't but like I mean, yogurt that much either. You know, you know how but she likes to torture people, herself. You know how some people can't eat cilantro because it tastes like soap to them. Yeah, I don't get that. Yeah, I know that. Soap? Yeah. It's a physiological so. chemical reaction. My daughter's and, boyfriend can't eat it. Yeah. So, and I think is he allergic to it? No, he just he can't stand it. I think it does taste like soap to him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think I know, uh, has, it. it's that kind of a thing I because I, you put that in my mouth and I'm just like, I'll, I'd rather put Ajax in my mouth to get that taste. I, I, <laughs> Ajax. Uh, taste of what? Ajax. Oh, what? Since you'd rather stevia. put Ajax in the mouth. Oh, cilantro. stevia. Oh, no. No, no. no stevia. Oh, oh, cilantro? You don't Danielle, like cilantro? I'm come to your house and call I love cilantro. Oh, so oh, she I loves cilantro and stevia. We could do it together. I'll do yours. I know, if I had they, one they more day before I, I said if I had one more day before I was leaving for Pennsylvania, I would have done I would have done it. Yeah, I would have loved it. But I, I don't know. I don't want to make you go out of your way. What Next you time. Wait, when are you leaving you're leaving for Pennsylvania? Today. Oh. Going to see Gina. Oh, oh. Gary's sitting with us. <sighs> you're secretly yeah, going to see that bunny. Yeah, it's all about the bunny. The bunny. Do you know what she did? What? She well, my daughter worked 
tools. You could come up. Jules is sitting here. She worked outside of the house for the first time. Usually she works at home. Yeah. And I don't think the bunny liked it. Uh-oh. Yeah, the sun is up here, by the way, as somebody asked. And I don't think the bunny liked it. And you know those um, hair brushes that have the um, plastic things they like for wet hair? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She ate the bristles off the brush. Really? What? They're like, they're all short now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We think she got upset that she went to work. Oh, my gosh. But they weren't like, like, they weren't like the pieces. She she didn't find like the pieces around. So she ate them. She well, thinks what she ate them. ate them. And she always says, I don't know why everybody says that bunnies have delicate stomachs because she <laughs> she'll do she, stuff she like that. I think they're more like she goats. I think wood. they're like goats. It's like a goat. <sighs> All kinds of crazy stuff. So she held up the brush. She goes, I think she was mad at me because I went to work. Oh. Would you believe that? She's got like a stomach like iron. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. My oh, puppy well, is going into all my plants sure. and stuff. Wait, what? My puppy's going into all my plants that I'm bringing out and stuff. He's, 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 he's very, by and she, she's very mischievous. Yeah, I'm she, sorry. she hides toys in, in the yard. She takes her toys and hides. <laughs> she, no dog ever did this stuff. And she just, she's very That's mischievous. So funny. Yeah, but you got to watch because she went, took my sneaker outside. And I, you uh -oh. know, she could have hid that. You know, she's very <laughs> sneaky. Very sneaky. What are you doing, Moo? It's still dark by Moo. You have dark. daylight already? Yeah, how does she have yeah. darkness? It looks so dark by yeah, I know. How yeah, do you have darkness? Look at how, how so, dark it is yeah, by Moo. why? It's only flowing. It's, still, it's yeah, sunlight here. It's the same time. How come it's like Isn't that? Isn't it the same? Look at dark. Yeah, well, I mean, it's the crack of dawn. Of course, my neighbors see me out here in my night shirt. <laughs> no, it's not the crack of dawn here. It's, no, the it's the sun, the sun is, is up. up. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it's... We get some not much. Well, it goes down. You know, the sun sets later too. Wow. I was. You know, you don't think would, of it as being that different. Oh, it's very different. It's when are different. you and Gary making the video? Oh, you mean for my hair? Is that what you mean, Aurora? Oh yeah, Gary. When are you doing her hair? I think I'll take the hair color with me to Pennsylvania. We could do it in Pennsylvania. Because I don't want to wait any longer. Like. I don't want to do it when you guys. Yeah, ours will be all. Uh... When are you doing yours, Danielle? In the next few days, when all right, I so get I'll a chance, my... I might do it. I might do it tomorrow or. All right, the I, day I might after. do it tomorrow. Yeah. I'd practice. I'll, I could ask Gina to do it if you don't want to do it. <laughs> okay. I could do it myself. It'll just take me a longer time to do it. And Gina's coming back with you, right? Yeah, she'll be back. That's it's a nice. birthday weekend. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It's my daughter's birthday today. My, do my, oh. my daughter. My son's birthday is Monday. Oh, really? Oh, so is Gina's. 24th, uh, my, right? Yeah. Yeah, Gina's the 24th. So is my son, Louis. It's amazing. God, they grow up so fast, right? I know, but he's going to be 20. I want to die. Oh, my God, oh, my I don't God. blame you. <laughs> it's ridiculous. How old is uh, Alexandra today? 50, 52. Oh, what you say? 52. <laughs> She's what? 52. <laughs> oh, oh, it's hard to believe Scooter's little granddaughter. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, yeah, Scooter's little granddaughter. <laughs> what did you say? My own channel? No, I'm not going to start my own channel. <laughs> Who said that? Aurora. Aurora. For your hair? She goes, no, your own channel. I'm like, no. Oh, to do it I on your own? I definitely don't have what it takes to make my own channel. Oh, yeah, sure you do. Yeah, her own channel for hair coloring. For hair coloring. Lisa, we're, we're just not natural creators. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's not Ted Bundy yet. Oh, my God. What happened to Scooter tonight? Scooter hates everyone now. Yeah, she I... hates us. She's on strike. Crazy.
crazy. I don't know. What did she say she was doing today? Oh, Deborah, congratulations. Yeah. Her 11 year old, her grandson just turned 11 a couple of days ago. Congratulations. Happy oh, birthday. Yes. Happy Every, birthday. Sleeping Beauty said Lisa D can hardly comes in here, let alone making her own channel. That's true, Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, was Lisa no. on tonight? No, she's a five day on, no, one day on, five day off, or maybe she'll be on tomorrow night. I used to be a one day on, two, two day, day off. Offer. Now you're like, so now we don't even know what you are. A one day well, on. Well, another birthday. You know, um, yesterday. You know, you're making Gary well, have so much ammunition now. He's laughing the apes <laughs> all the time now. What'd you say, Lou? I said yesterday was Mama Ann's son's birthday. No, isn't it yeah, today? He, yeah, no, he yesterday. Was oh, happy birthday. I thought it was yesterday. Well, I mean, I thought no, it, was it is. Today. Happy birthday. 20 it's years old. Isn't he 20? Today, by our standards. Oh, I thought he was 18. Oh, I thought he it's was 20. Time. Maybe he's not. Maybe he is what? 18. Maybe I don't it's know. Another, maybe it's the other son. They're not the same same time as everyone else. No, I, don't, I don't know. Well, she's got it's one that's in college who's got to be older than 18, right? Yeah, no, but there, I think she's talking about the high school one that turned oh. 18. I believe yeah, it was today. She had a video. All right. On. Okay. All right. Swap clothes. What? And then we have to swap her, Ethan. Wow, you can't even see my sunrise yet. My God. It looks so dark. I know. It is. I'm asking. Yeah. What time is your first meeting? Uh, 10 o'clock. And what time do you want to leave? All right. Same We're having a conversation here. start earlier. Oh, he's you got to make calls from the car? Oh. I, I, won't be, I don't believe it. Yeah, Carolyn, who just, your little ones, what what are their birthdays? Ethan just December turned 15, 20, right? April 6th. Ethan turned 15? No. Oh, it's 14? Did you say 15? I thought That's 15. Old. Is, oh, my God. Is he four, wait, no, he, turn he just 14? turned 14, yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. You said 15, that was so old. 14. I know. I 14. Was, oh, my God, I thought he was 13. He was 13. He just turned 14. Oh my God! I know. How did that happen? I have and no when idea. is Luke's? Luke's December twenty fourth. Oh, that's right. Christmas. Eve. Christmas. Yep. Yeah. Holy crap! Yeah. What is going on? I know. I know. They got Charlie's, to stay little. Yeah, this is no Charlie's going to be twelve June thirtieth. <laughs> oh my God! See? And oh, so Greta he's is going like yeah, to okay. be nine. Yeah. She's got to stop it. She I know. She's got to stop it. Mm -hmm. My my New York daughter in March turned the same age I was when I gave birth to her, oh, thirty five. Really? Is that freaking you? Is that freaking you out? Freaking the freak out! Yes. I can't take it's, it. I I think the weird part is that I want to do the bed. I'm twice her age. That's my and goal. I just can't believe. Why did that. you roll your eyes at me? I hate when he does that. Sorry, Mo. <laughs> I just can't believe that the time passed that quickly. I, know, I mean, I know. not not just from my kids being all ancient, but I it's as though um, I don't know where the time went. I mean, that's yeah. a stupid thing to say, but I literally, I have no idea how huh. I became twice my age overnight. Mm -hmm. I don't know how this happened. No, and the little that's sometimes crazy. it feels like it's going so slow, but yeah, it, it does. Slow. And then all you turn around, and you're like, "What?" No, just does your. I want to know. Does your do your husbands roll you roll their eyes at you? Oh yes. I can just every smack him. every person I've ever been involved with has rolled their eyes with me. I cannot I take that, <laughs> and I never do that. It's a habit. You don't I've roll your developed. eyes. Oh my god! No. I don't think I don't I think roll Jimmy rolls eyes. his eyes. I don't think he. But I'm an eye roller. I'm an eye roller. Yeah, my brother. Yeah, I, I'm I an eye roller. I don't do it. Do I eye roll? Tell the Harry. truth. Does she? Do I? Do I roll my eyes? No, I'm not an eye roller. But I didn't He's know an what an eye roller, roller was. I didn't know until I was in high school, and this teacher, we, <laughs> a Shakespeare teacher, she was really quite eccentric. And we would come in late from AP Bio, and the AP Bio teacher would say, just go ahead. And then, so I was coming in, and I, I just happened to be with the captain of the football team because he had the AP Bio <sighs> class too. So both of us walked into the Shakespeare class, and we're standing there, and she goes like this, 
oh my gosh, because we always had a note. And she goes, you know, I don't want you to, with your notes, you, you treat this like it's not as important as AP Bio and I'm fed up with it, right? And she said that, and I must have rolled my eyes. I didn't know what the heck it was. And she goes like this, don't you roll your eyes at me? And I said, what did you say? <laughs> I, real, I didn't know what she said. I said, what? And she goes, there you go doing it again. Don't you roll your eyes at me. I never heard that expression in my life, right? So I was like, and then Greg DeFelice, right? He goes like this, Carlin, what, what the hell? <laughs> Don't roll. I mean, what the hell is rolling your eyes? And he then he was like, like this, and he had to show me. I didn't know what the hell it meant. I never heard of this, anybody saying You didn't even know you were doing it. That was just natural. You do that. Roll oh, your God, eyes. Was, he does it all was... the time. That's how I got in trouble at school. It was eye rolling. No and one ever told me and ever until and she did. It's a, it's a, it's a habit. Yeah. And I'll is say he, to him is now, he going don't with you? Don't you exhale at me? Don't you? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's a good thing to say. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> it's already over. He already exhaled. <laughs> it's done. It's is already it? done. Because then there's the people on 90 Day Fiancé that say, don't you side-eye me. Yeah, the side-eye. <laughs> right? side don't you just side-eye me. Yeah, that one that was in Pennsylvania. Please with... stink eye. Yeah, don't, don't you, you side-eye me. Eye. Don't you give me that stink eye. He gave me those side-eyes. <laughs> what? Stink hey, eye? Carolyn, can you side see my... Yeah, but some people Your do lips. it. Yeah, I bet it's so dark, I can't believe it. Can you I see my fake how leg? different it is there. Yes, but it's too dark. Yeah, I, I can't believe it's that dark still. Yeah, it's it's broad daylight here. I've got a squirrel hanging from the bird feeder. No, I love <clears throat> I love the where they have lights on the on the properties across the lake. So pretty. Really? That's Nobody a... told you Humpty Dumpty was an egg? Oh no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody told Lisa H that Humpty Dumpty was an egg. Come on. A Lisa stupid H. egg, she said. Chelsea said she's a side eyer. Or, or, or when oh. people say, "Don't you cut your eyes at me?" I'm like, "Cut your eyes at me." Cut <laughs> your eyes. What, what yeah. is that? Oh. Like, I think they say that in the South or something. I do because there's that guy that's a comedian, and he always says, "Don't you cut your eyes at me." So well, I what think does that mean? Like, squint? that's very strange. I think. What is it? Who in the chat knows what "cut your eyes at me"? I think it means roll your eyes or something or side eye you. But yeah, I think I think, I think it's a southern term or something because this one yeah. comedian does it all the time. <laughs> cut there. your eyes. Yeah, he goes, "Don't you cut your eyes at me, boy." Look, I'm not answering back. Oh. Yeah, I never knew what that I meant did either. That when I was a kid, I got it bad. But I, oh, my yeah. parents, did your parents call it talking back? Yeah, my really? Did dad talk back to me? Oh, my yes. parent, my parents didn't. I remember I went to my friend's house and I said, "Well, where's your sister?" And he goes, "Oh, she's in trouble because she was talking back to my mother." And I go, and I literally, I'm not joking around. I said, "Why would your mother get mad that she's talking back to her? What does she want her to do? Sit there and not say anything?" <laughs> I swear oh, yeah. to you, that's how naive I was. And she, she goes, no, no, it's like, you know, like talking back to yeah, her in a bad way. Back. But what did your mom call my it? parents didn't call it that. What did they what call, they call it? it? I don't know. Like, I didn't say Was anything. Was it something like, in Italian? Yeah, no, we were, no, I mean, they didn't say, I don't know. You, you did, didn't. you were a back talker and you got away with it. Yeah, That's probably. I can yeah, tell. You, she's the baby. Well, can I tell you something? Baby. One time, baby, you got to listen to this. She's allowed to do whatever she wants. Yep. Oh, it's yep. Listen, listen to this. Yeah, just can like I tell my you, sister. Can I tell you something, Lisa? You're going to kick out of this one. One of my best friends, Italian, 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 okay? And so never even Italian? saw her dad I'm because he was, was like... Was she Italian? Yes, yeah, very. <laughs> so we went to the pet store one day, right? And we looked at the hamsters. It was like, we were like 13. It was the first time we were going to like the, this like little strip mall by ourselves. And we bought a hamster because I said, and she said, oh, my parents will kill me. I said, oh gosh, we have the fish tanks and stuff for it. My parents will get over it. Don't worry about it. So oh, we get home. <laughs> we get home. You made her get it? Yeah, I got it. I told her my parents oh, will get got, over it. Right? Okay. So we get it and we're in like, there's like a room that was in, and, we're, and, I, and I said, well, I'm just going to tell them we've got it. So then my parents like, oh my gosh, like, but, but, but it was it. 
you got a hamster and she's in this other room listening to this and i said okay now you two are this is exactly what i said you're being completely unreasonable and oh. acting like this is a big like, i just said this and she goes and then i think your going, parents yes to my parents <laughs> I said, I would have got it right across well, the face. Well, wait, wait till you hear what she said when I walked back in the room. So I, I go like this. I go, you guys are being completely unreasonable. This is not oh a big gosh. deal. We have the tank downstairs. We're going to take care of it. I think you need oh. to stop doing this. So they're they like, say that now. And my, oh my, <laughs> and my parents go like this. Me neither. All right. I, whatever. You right know. Then? Right. Yes. Yeah, so then. My mom would knock me out. I well, listen to what she says when I walk back in the room. I walk back in the room. She goes, Carolyn, I was listening to that exchange. And when you said to your parents that they were being unreasonable, I thought I was going to hear like, ba bang, 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 you were gone on the floor. She goes, I'm waiting for you to hit the floor and you're not, and you're still talking. And then they're like, okay, all right. Oh and my God. She oh goes, my goodness. I That's would, I would still be on the floor. She's if the that baby. Was me. She got She's the baby. Her, you got away with I'm murder. telling you, her brother and sister would never get away with that. Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh. You she, goes, baby. she goes, my parents would have killed you, your me. Your parents were exhausted. That's why. <laughs> oh they were too God. exhausted to fight anymore. My mother used to say, Danielle, get Mary out of here. Right. Just, just get, take her, take her, take her away from me before I kill her. So she got away with everything. Oh my God! But a bang, I, but a boom. I was I Done. was the youngest, but I'm from a different generation, and I'll tell you, if I did that, the next sound you heard would be the back of my mother's hand across my nose. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, we got clobbered. Well, you should see when I was in ninth grade and I bought a, a rabbit from someone that I didn't tell my parents about. <laughs> oh my, oh my God! What? And yeah, it was just my mother that time. And then she was making like this big deal about it. She's like, we're not keeping it right. And then all I did, I'm like, blame her? Of I go, mom, she's making you know, a big you know deal. What I, do you know what I told my mother? Oh my gosh, mom, things could be so much worse. What if somebody had an incurable illness or something? I can't believe you're doing oh this. Oh my right? goodness, so then, listen to you. <laughs> so then wait listen a minute. You. Then you know what I did? She was trying to act all tough on this one. She was like, we oh are my. not keeping it, right? We're the not, I'm telling you, it's going, it's going. The and then, the so I went, I went in the other room, right? And then I hear my mother get on the phone with her cousin and she's like, you wouldn't believe what she did but it is the cutest little thing. I'm like, oh, that's it. Come on. It, it's done. She's going to try it's to over. act all tough and stuff. That's what, you know, then, then she'll be like, all right, but you're taking care of it. And I don't want to hear anything about it. I'm like, okay, I knew it. I knew mm -hmm. it. As she's taking care of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, she took care of it for one day. And then after that, you know, mm -hmm. it's then the mom's, the mom. mom's job. And my, yep. father, my father would even be funny. Like, he's like, did you go downstairs and take care of your rat? <laughs> you know about the hamster? Yeah. So he's like, yeah, did you take care of the rat? <laughs> yeah, my big kids, they like to say well, they're going to, you know, bring home like a dog. I'm like, oh, I was like, so you guys moving out? <laughs> <laughs> my brother did that. He brought home a puppy. He was in the Coast I Guard. did that too, though. I he, really did. And my mother was like, we're not. Oh, look at yeah, this. Yeah, I did Aww. that too. Yeah. Oh, we had, you we had dogs already. And, or you know, I, they were so like cool that, to oh, that crazy. dog. Oh, but I knew. I, like I, I was saving hear. him. And they got a little bit, but, but they loved him. So. Oh. Be right back. It was funny, but she, she was, I, you could just tell I mean, Once I heard her on the phone, I'm like, oh my gosh, the rabbit stink. That's I, great though. Cause I was you, scared for a minute there that she was really serious. And I'm, I'm yeah, like, but you knew your phone. mom, I guess you really knew her. Yeah. You were um, like, she's going to let me. Yeah. As soon as I heard her on the phone, I'm like, ah, it's okay. And then she really ended up loving that rabbit so much. Yeah. yeah. I, We're not keeping it. I can't believe you did this. <laughs> I'm like, mom, they're going to gas it if I bring it back. And she's <laughs> <laughs> the water's boiling right now. Yeah. They're going to make hamster stew. I saved it. You brought home all animals all the time. Babies went into the bin. Your parents called you. <laughs> Fresh for Snow White. <laughs> mom brought home all the pets. Yeah. And I was I never a mom like that. My kids could bring home anything. I'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Would you be? You wouldn't care? Oh, no. Uh-uh. I love oh, animals. Wow. Yeah. I would, I, even, I don't, yeah. I, I, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm good. I, I, I'm good. I, I don't <laughs> want. I don't want anything else to take care. Do you have any pets? Um, no. Like we went through fish and we went through turtles, and it just becomes so much work for me. You know? mm, really? Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow! And it was like, the, and they had them when I was the most pregnant. You know, mm. at, at these times, and I was like, you. Listen, these turtles have to go live in the lake. So we had to go oh, to the lake because I couldn't. It was too much. I had to, you know, carry the dirty water and empty it and clean the tank. And I'm doing this like as pregnant as the earth. And it, oh, I was always so enormous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I was an enormous. Um, baby carrier to people who say, oh, do you have triplets in there? Yeah, do you have, do you, you sure there's not the more than people one? people say that. <laughs> oh, it's God. It was crazy. Uh, the thing was, I never gained any weight except, and I was always up until now that I'm really huge. I was always a skinny person and I only gained um, 29 pounds and it was all oh, about gained a lot. Oh, yes, I've, I've had, I've had birds. Yes. Yes, I have. Oh, Am is here. And I rescued um, quite a few oh, robins that I had a hand feed and then wait, bring to a wildlife rehabber. Yes, that too. Oh, Milo. No way. Let's come out here and show my lizards. No way. <laughs> Once somebody let all these rabbits loose around here and we, we all captured them all. We let Ouch. a whole bunch of pet rabbits loose, and they were like in the field. Oh, it's gosh. crazy! We got them all. My daughter's like, "Thank you." Oh, How did you guys them. catch them? They were all in the field. They just they were they were like someone just had and they just let them go, which is like you know these oh, white rabbits. So oh my that's just not white, fair. Yeah, little bunnies. Yeah, so we got them and put them over here, and we had a hutch outside, and so yeah. It's, Look, my little ducks are congregating under that oak tree. Oh, and Mo, what was up with that frog? How cute. What was it doing? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, I've been trying to figure it out. I, I'm pretty sure it's a, cu a Cuban tree frog, but it might, I, it could be a golden frog. Yeah, there's, one, just but there's, there's those really poisonous frogs, too, though. The ones well, yeah, that the kill Cuban. dogs. The, yeah, that I forget what that's called. Yeah, um, that's yeah, scary. All the dog has to do is lick it yes, that's so yeah. scary because a Westie or a Scotty would do that in a heartbeat. Ugh. Oh, for sure. Um, no, this is if it's a Cuban, it's it's not the kind that would kill a dog, dog. But it, if you touch it, it, you have to keep your hands out of your eyes and go wash yeah, them. Yeah, I know, so scary. Um, but the worst part about the Cuban. If, if it's a Cuban frog, is that they're an invasive species. They they came in from Cuba, and well, obviously they're Cuban tree frogs, but they're they're invasive to Florida. So they come in and kill the native frogs. Oh. They they eat up their they eat them whole and they what? eat up their tadpoles. Get and out of here! The frogs eat the frogs. Yeah, yeah. It's like silence of the, the nerve. Frog. I know, it's so gross. It's so cannibalistic. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh what? lord. The world's biggest... Are they like gigantic frogs? They must be. Um, no, they're just... What is flying out there? My gosh, it looks like a demented dragonfly. But they don't fly very <laughs> A demented one. I don't know if you can see it. It's like going crazy on my screen. First, I thought it was another floater in my eye. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, no, they, they, it was terrible because here I am trying to look up Cuban frogs, and I see a picture of a Cuban frog with a, with a little green peeper, which are my usual frogs, halfway down his throat. I'm like almost throwing up. Do you like, know oh, those my babies? floater things, right? You just said, when did you start seeing those? I started seeing those really early. Like, oh, I was, yeah. Like they I was 12 start, or something, 11, 12, 10 years old. Yeah, maybe? when when you uh, get to be in your 50s, the really fun floaters begin. 
Oh, but well, let's listen to this one. So when I was seeing them when I was like 10, I was like, they, to me, they look like, um, almost like mitochondria, but they, they had like, they were long and they looked like they had a little cell, a nucleus in the middle, right? And I said, does everybody see them or am I actually seeing the cells of the air? <laughs> <laughs> like I thought I had like some microscopic, like just like my eyes could see through and see what composed the air around me. You know what I'm saying? So, I, would say, so I said to my sister, um, do you ever see those little things that come down with a little nucleus inside of them? And what? And she's like, yeah, I see those. And I'm like, oh gosh, I thought I was seeing things that nobody else could see. Well, they, they usually move off to the side. Oh, I would they, see them just float yeah, down. They, they float. like little, like long snakes and a little cell in the middle. Like, oh gosh. Oh yeah, well, there those, those um, happen. When I was in, let's see, when I was about six, 60, when was Hurricane? It was during a hurricane. It was Sa Sandy or Katrina, the most recent of those. I guess it was Sandy. But I was literally, I was in the supermarket, and I suddenly thought there was a mosquito in front of my eye. And I kept grabbing, like, at my hat. It was, I had on a hat, and I thought, well, the thread has come down in front of my eye. And I kept grabbing the thread, and I realized that there was a a thing, a huge thing in, in my eye. And I found out this is a joy that everybody has to look forward to. I, I mean, it may not happen, but it's very common. It's a Weiss ring detachment. There's a ring of gunk in your eye, and it detaches, and it floats to your central vision, and it looks like a squashed mosquito, including a little red blood spot in the middle. And it's in your central vision, and you keep trying to move your eye to look around it because that's, and then you end up getting seasick because every time you move, it moves. In fact, I think home, there was a Homer Simpson, I think there was a whole thing about floaters, or it was either Homer Simpson or fam I don't know, I never saw Family Guy much, but it was something about floaters. And it was it's like unbelievable and they drive you out of your mind and you just have to get used to them or you just would go out of your mind and you you still see them with your eyes shut. Yeah. Oh, what see, was that? Show me. Yeah. Carol, that's what me. I look that's what I used to oh, see. Those things flo like floating yeah. down, like that, you know, down. Yeah. That. Yeah, they're fragments. They're fragments coming up. Go look up Weiss rings, because oh, that's God. it. What? Looks like it. They're they're all these fragments that tear off, and they go right to your central vision where you can be most annoyed, and they drive you crazy until you learn to literally not see them. And so just when I and I was going crazy because I mean I had to stare at a computer all day, right. and I had to set my computer monitor down to like the same gray as the detachment so that I wouldn't oh see it. Oh my God, no. <laughs> but I don't see those so much anymore. I saw them a lot when I was younger. No, they, they dissipate. They, they go off to the side and they also soften up and you don't see them as much. And just when I got used to the stupid thing, my other ice, ice ring went. So now I have two mosquitoes in my central vision, <laughs> but I, I don't see them. Mm. I just don't see them anymore, even though they're big. And in fact, but last time I went to the the optical guy, he was he was looking at my eyes and he was saying, "Wow, <laughs> he can see them. You know, they're right there, front and center." <clears throat> um, <laughs> oh, but I literally don't see them anymore. They thought we're so cool, a cluster. Hmm. Sounds scary. There's so many weird things that you could get, right? Oh my God, it's endless. It's so unfair. I know. See, Carol, there's my little fake lake. Beautiful. Oh, there it is. Yes. I'm, I'm ashamed to call it a lake compared to your. Uh -huh. Although, I mean, I love it. It's a great little lake. 
Carolyn, how did the boys do with the vaccines? Fine. Fine. Good. They did fine. Yeah. Yuppers. I got this squirrel that's just been hanging from the bird feeder. I like to know these things. You know how I am. I know. I love oh my gosh, pineapple. you should see the pineapple. how many lemons. I have like, I don't know, 60 lemons. Wow, you, you lucky see? stiff. I don't know if you can see it, but on the left, the branch is like hanging down. It's got like 50 lemons hanging on that left side. Oh, wow. wow. And they're finally beginning to turn yellow. Really? So I'll have to mail you all lemons. That's beautiful. <laughs> How exciting. It is. It's really fun. I mean, the earth here, look at this. I mean, I just, all I do is stick stuff in dirt. I feel like Dave. I put it in the dirt <laughs> and everything just, well, you can't really see in this light, but oh my gosh, everything just blooms. I stuck a, I stuck a bunch of plants outside. Um, I don't know, a week and a half ago. Oh, we can't see it. It's dark, but already just see these little pots of plants? Mm -hmm. They're just some tomatoes, and right there is a, a bunch of stuff. There's some spinach. I just jam them together because they grow really well that way, and I can separate them later. But I looked at this today, and there's a jalapeno on that thing the size of a lemon. Wow. I know. Oh. It's like, it, you wouldn't believe it. And I, you know, I use organic soil. I don't, um, I'm not using like some kind of crazy, you know, chemical growth mm -hmm. hormone. But everything just grows like crazy. Wow. Here. That's it's like great. this dream come true. And look at my little poisonous oleanders. Oleanders, so pretty. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. I can't do. Pl I kill plants. I don't. I'm the plant killer. I you Danielle. If you were I think here, it's just the place, Danielle. It's it's the light. They light. You, and if, it's not you. Yeah. If you were here, everything you touch would grow. It's unbelievable. I've never seen soil like this. Where did you I get those crowns of thorns, Lisa? Um, well, my neighbor gave me one, and I, I really don't remember where I bought the other one. I, I don't remember. Oh, what's, a, what's a crown of thorns? Oh, sure. that, that's cool. I don't have to get Can you I'll show, show it to you, Danielle? Can you show it to Danielle? Yeah. Fellas. Really? Yeah, that's, look, show her why it's called. Of thorns? But show her why. I have two of them. Show, oh, show, wow. show her why. Why? Oh, because this down here, they're, oh. they're full of thorns. So oh, wow. cool. Yeah, one of those. And they but bloom year round. And Jimmy they're goes beautiful. like this Oh, no, they're prickly. You're so I'm like, cool, stop it. You know, they look really nice. But they're so pretty. Aren't they pretty? I don't remember where I got. I, I really don't. I want, you know, I can't imagine where I got it. Cause like, you can't even just go buy plants anymore. Like I used to buy everything at Frank's. Remember Frank's plants? That store mm -hmm. that used to have crafts and plants. Frank's? No. Nope. Frank's. It was cool. Well, it was here on the Island, but they went, they left and I, I don't know where. Maybe I did get it at Frank's, but that's a long time. I've had a long time. And then my friend gave me the other one because it was dying in her house because it, it likes the light and her house is darker than mine. So she gave me the other one. If I put that out in the summer heat, like the tropical heat, it just becomes a monster. I mean, it just... Oh, really? Which I usually do put it out when it gets to be really tropical because I, I feel like a, it gives it a boost. Well, you're not able to propagate it? You mean like take a baby? Yeah. If they don't, you I think can't. I could. Yeah, I my mom try is it. Like great cut at a piece that. off. I bet you I could. I'll look because about propagating one. Yeah, because, my mom is um, great at that. She's plants. She makes plants what? from the plants. She's oh. so good at it. Really? Yeah, I'd like to see it. Real kill. 
And yeah. I just am the worst. Mm. I'll tell Danielle, you. Danielle, don't be down on yourself. Danielle, if you were here, I don't know if you can see this. I was planting stuff. Do you see how black the soil is? Yeah. Yeah. That's the soil here. It's black. Wow. And you dig a foot deep, and it's, I mean, then I put new soil in anyway. But what's here, I mean, look at these roses. These roses were blooming all through the winter. Oh, wow. Wow. And yeah, I mean, they I have a little bit really of a dry I, Like I water them and. and yeah, just... it's, I'll tell you, it depends where you live, too. Yeah, maybe. Look at this. You see these um, planters? My little granddaughter planted this. This is an edible, completely edible. All the plant. It. It's um, mint and basil and purslane. And all together? Put, yeah, they're all jammed together. I learned how to do this when I was about 20. And it, stuff grows like crazy. I have even my cilantro. You know how cilantro won't grow? Yeah. Look oh. at it growing here. It's just, I have nests of it all over the place. And then I just basically threw this mint in the ground in January. Um, and it just, like, it was dying. It was, you know, I would oh, stick it in the ground and give it a chance. And like a week later, the thing is like spreading all over the place. Hmm. So I have mint and basil and oregano and what? I love it. It's amazing. Oh, and oh, that's a blueberry. That's I haven't planted. I've been planting. But where do you, do you go out and get all this stuff? Um, I well the, the um herbs I just bought at uh, at Publix. They you know they right it's right the stuff you see at Whole Foods or anywhere they have those organic herbs right that die in the pot a day after you bring them home. Yeah. And they die in the pot here too. But if I bring them home, I stick them in the earth, and the next thing I know, they're monsters. Wow. I've had to cut them back already. I had to cut them way back because they were. If you saw, if you saw this later, all of this is just brilliant blooms. They they close up at night though, so you can't see them now. Look, see up there. That's where that frog lives. Oh. All the way up there, the frog uh, was. See, um, you know the the frog video that. Yeah, he was on bricks, but I didn't on, know it was that high. Yeah, well, I have to admit, I snuck up on the ladder, a ladder, and then I realized that I couldn't get down. <laughs> because so, you looked <laughs> level, so I thought he was lower because you looked pretty level, and you were like, "How did you get well, here?" I, I, I climbed up on, on this little step stool. And oh, I goodness. just do that because my knees are so terrible. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh, crap, I can't get down. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> Luckily, I could hang on to the door. My daughters would kill me. Oh, God, I got crazy. Don't climb any ladders now. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. no climbing Can you ladders. imagine that? Ba bang, ba bang, ba bang. What? <laughs> You're going to have to stop watching that show. They're making me do weird stunts. And they'll make videos about it. Carolyn uh, makes her climb ladders. And she oh, falls. my gosh. That poor woman. She had her climbing a ladder today. <laughs> you know, Carolyn, remember when you were so nervous about my mandolin slicer? Yes. And oh, so yeah. I oh sent no. My, I sent a photo of my kitchen with just, you know, just the kitchen showing the stuff I've unpacked, some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. And my daughter, I, I got it. I almost mailed you the text. She sent me a text. She said, Does my, that, does my mother have a mandolin on the counter that will cut her to business? She was oh like, my freaking out. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's funny. She's totally freaking out. I know, but, Ted but, Angel. I know. We got all everything's out of sorts. We're all out of sorts here. Oh man! Oh, so you asked me about the hair, mm. the the hair color, right? Yeah. 
so it looks like the the sample that I did that looks so dark, well, duh, my hair was still wet. When it dried, it was like really pale. So, pale? Yeah. Really? Well, what I color did you get? Kind you guys got. I got this um, different kind that I can use because I use herba tint. But um, the thing is, if you put that on there, it's basically, it strips your hair and then dyes it basically pink. But what? this looked like sort of strawberry. And I just did it on a sample strip up in my gray, in the gray roots area, and then the ground, <clears throat> the washed out brown area. My natural color is a medium light brown. And um, so I, I thought, I, I can live with that. So what I did was I added it to my usual hair color okay. because I knew I needed brown in there, but it really came out. It's sort of like if you took the the sample was like if you took maraschino cherry juice and added Clorox. It was like so. Oh my goodness! It was so ridiculous. So I put a lot of my brown into it, but it still came out really too pink on top. Although I went out, I mean it's not that bizarre because I you know I did put my red color in, in it too. But it's a little too pink. I'm, I'm the only yeah, don't I'm worry, afraid. Lisa. Ours is dark. <laughs> my, my, it's uh, very I'm dark. all right. I, it'll be no, right. it's very dark. It's it, it's very subtle. It you know it's dark. It really is black cherry, and it's very yeah, subtle. Yeah, you guys, it's, you guys are dealing with something totally different. This thing, yeah, you know, I've, I've done it before. I know what it looks like, and it looks good. It's going to look beautiful on you. Yeah, and you're not going like to. You're not your dealing. Hair. You're not dealing with mine because mine is more like what Scooter had, which is just yeah. Like no, we're color we're not doing that. A pale. Well, you see, Carolyn's color. like hers is more chocolate. I like it. Looks good. And I I do. I like it a lot. Looks really good. Carolyn, you have to go. I feel bad. It's like getting yeah, late. Yeah, pretty soon. Yeah, I only have to go because I have to. I have to get up and watch that trial. You know, so I, I have like a couple hours. Uh, what time is it? 6 30 7 38 because they start at 8 30 but then they're an hour behind so yeah i can get like four hours three four hours <laughs> then you could look at the clock and go okay well if i go now i'll get like maybe yeah three and then hours. i'll go right. up there and i'll be right, thinking right. i'll be like oh let me just look at my phone for a minute oh let me yeah because that, that always happens oh my gosh but right. uh, it was fun and 10th angel yeah i just need to make one of those cards that birthday like explosion something it doesn't even have to be an explosion but something i can't remember that site where we were getting that stuff i hope i can find it but uh all right uh it was fun to have everybody on it was Nobody nice to, to talk goodbye. to everybody but, it was uh, also yeah. lisa deep that was great i really yeah. enjoyed that i mean yeah. that yeah. Was yeah. yeah, you made excellent points. You really did. Yeah, and no one even missed Scooter. Yeah, because she doesn't set, like right? us. Yeah. Yeah, Scooter. Yeah, I probably misspoke by saying enjoy, but I meant I found it really. Because I've been wanting to come on, so I was like, well, it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now. Yeah, you went in so early. And yeah. poor Davida fell really? asleep. Yeah. Davida sent me a message. Said I'm going to sleep because I got work. Yeah, she sent it poor too. Poor Davida. She, she said I, I'm I'm gonna be listening until I fall asleep. <laughs> She's so cute. She's just, you but know, it's, has, like, it's like at the Oscars though. and somebody fills the seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Davida just comes and, and fills up the panel. And like, but, oh, all, Cal but just also put the because place she marker. has work tomorrow, yeah. too. Yes, so. she has work tomorrow. Tomorrow's a yeah. Thursday, so. Yeah. And Thursday's here already. Yeah, and then, it, then it's Friday, and then, then she's got work on Saturday. Yeah, gross. Yeah. So. Thursday but night, she gets to her. Scooter is safe somewhere. Yeah, Scooter hates everyone, but. She, maybe she'll feel better off. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing Gabby's dress to the altar on Jimmy. Friday. It's gorgeous. Oh. Oh, I gotta, uh, did I send you the shoes? No. Hello. I have to send you the shoes. We found, Hi, we found them in the same color. Hello, everybody. Hi, Jimmy. Hello. Hello. It's a beautiful dress. Hello. Good morning. Hello, Hi, Jimmy. Lisa. 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 Hi, Jimmy. Lisa. Which we have a neck brace, Karen. Yeah. Neck brace, Karen. Yeah. So, so Ethan is coughing a little bit, but he he already had a COVID test, and he also uh, had a vaccine. He also had a vaccine. I'm sending him to school. I tried to call the nurse, and now they're not answering. But, he's but what did the school say? They might be like, no. 
Well, yeah, I called, but they're not answering right now, so. Um, you might have to wait for them to answer. Cause they might just send him home. Yeah, they send him home. They, if they he's go. if he's coughing. Yeah, but he like, like I said. Well, he um, had a COVID test, but there's such paranoia, you know. Yeah, I know, the, but but since I think it's starting to change now, I believe in a little bit. You but know, there's so um, much pollen out of and abundance stuff. There's caution, allergies. They may. That oh, is there's true. So much allergies. I, my I, I allergies. would I would keep him home as as my an abundance kids, caution. My niece. Well, but, um, right. I, Horrible. I'm because sure he's gonna be running that, around everywhere around here if he's home. He's fine, you know. Exactly, so I, and you I, I would know. See, yeah, I, I can't right. see him. He knows it too, right, Ethan? Yeah. He's shaking his head. Yeah, he knows. He's gonna be wide open around he's here. He's so, so cute. He, he's not oh, sick. He's so. Tall. We so. love you, Ethan. There you go, Ethan. He oh. Said, he said we thank do. you. <laughs> we do. All right, everybody. Thank you for coming. Thanks to everybody in the chat. Thanks to the moderators. Mm -hmm. Prayers for all that need them. Hi, 61. Please pray for Hi, 61's family yeah, and everybody else. All right. All right, guys. Okay. See you. I love you guys. Love you guys. God bless. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Bye. 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 Bye.